Welcome back to the channel. We are out at the large Jean-Pain heating system and I finally got all of it tarped in the way I wanted and I want to explain how I did this. And I came with another row of fencing and basically just tarped those leaf bags in there. So we've got our leaf bags inside the ring. So we've got a good solid layer of insulation. This pile is insulated at least three feet all the way around. Every surface that's exposed to air is covered and insulated with leaves and leaf bags. So this doesn't look like much i just got a whole bunch of boards and stones holding this down but underneath all that i've got an entire poly that covers the entire pile all is capped with my old poly i had a nice big square piece and i knew exactly what i wanted to use it for to capture the methane all of these tarps are going to let methane right through so if i can use that greenhouse poly under here to trap some methane for us we should be in good shape to be able to harvest and burn that i can build some type of pvc contraption or device to stick inside the pile so i can have a little bit of pressure on it i got one of those big old inner tubes that you can use on the water or sled so I should be able to take the bead out of that and run myself a nice T-fitting and a ball valve and possibly hook up a burner and make my own little stove or heater inside the greenhouse also. That is something I'm going to experiment with here because I've got enough compost that I can produce some methane. Wood chips seem to produce a decent amount of methane so if I can try and harvest it and use it as fuel and store it till it's nighttime basically and run that all night. If I'm able to use a little bit of methane and kind of build my knowledge on the whole methane capture system i'm going to do that and i'm going to try i'm going to set up my own little system to try and capture and burn the methane as i said so stay tuned for that update i want to run inside the greenhouse here see what we've got for water temps so we're sitting well over 60 degrees so we're pushing 60 degree water into the greenhouse. We're sitting about 34 degrees outside. It's a little warmer than it has been. We're out here on day four. This is day four of the compost pile heating up. And it's not fully active yet. We've covered it, we've insulated it, we've inoculated it. So the only thing to do now is basically wait. My biggest concern with all of this is my transferring, my, where I transfer between my greenhouse and my compost pile. So I may dig underneath that and insulate it even better. I've already messed with it several times and every time I insulate it a little better and a little better and it helps with my systems transferring the heat in here I mean we're pushing 60 degrees out of the water right there and we've heated this container up to about 56 degrees and it was about 34 degrees when we started this morning so we're definitely bringing some heat in the greenhouse now we're losing a lot of heat on purpose we are transferring heat into this tunnel and all the way down through the entire greenhouse there and this is benefiting us we're getting some good heat capture inside there it's kind of hard to see it's a little hazy and this thing definitely holds some heat through the night but we don't have our other set of hoops up yet we've got our hoops down there like i explained in day three we have all of this dug out i still have to insulate the wall because i at least want to get this bed insulated here so i can have some insulation from the outside and see how well that benefits me and see if i really want to dig out the entire line all the way around i got 52 feet on each side so what's that 104 feet of digging down at least two feet so i can insulate the whole outside here so this is going to be the experimental bed for that you can see we got some cold temperatures all of these shards came back and i know i just showed all this yesterday but i've been trying to document all this we're sitting well over 70 degrees there about 75 74 degrees so every day i'm coming out doing a little work and doing a little filming trying to document all this and just kind of share how all of this is going together and working so far so it is definitely t-shirt and shorts weather in here we're sitting about 80 degrees over on this side of the greenhouse just because all the heat's coming from here and passively pushing so i had to pull this out it fell down in my tank there so at the very bottom of the tank it was sitting about 55 degrees so we've done a lot of heat transfer into that i'm gonna stick this up in the pile here real quick and see what kind of temps we got right on the outside of the pile here so this is super cool and kind of exciting to me so we've got about 110 111 12 maybe sitting literally within feet of the outside this was just a dead gap yesterday i filled this in with leaves so this is not the actual pile my board got crushed out pretty decently so this is the ring this is the edge of the pile 
So I've stuck that in there and it's still slowly rising. So tarping this pile up correctly certainly got us the heat we wanted and that extra greenhouse poly probably held a lot of heat in there as it wasn't evaporating through the porous tarps that are not 100% waterproof. So that is very, very cool. Very interesting stuff. I'm, I'm glad all of the insulation is doing its job. Now the only thing I've got yet to do is re-insulate this even better where we're transferring everything well if you've been following along you've basically seen this jean Payne heating system come to life and i'd like to pull some methane off there to run the full gauntlet of everything that jean Payne did to experiment for myself and kind of see how to do it because this is definitely interesting to me and it's very very productive i mean i'm gonna end up heating our house with this someday once i get the schematics drawn up and the wife lets me do that so so i've got a ton of work left to do out here and it seems to never end we've always got something going on so if anybody had any questions on anything today drop it in the comments below if anybody has any ideas for me maybe for insulating the gap between my greenhouse there when in doubt i'm just gonna dig it out and bury a whole bunch of leaves and pine needles that are dry and basically just wrap it in greenhouse poly and in hopes that it won't get too wet and start to compost itself but even then that will help me and insulate it better than what i've been getting I I think my copper coil is touching the ground quite a bit so we're losing quite a bit of heat to that so next year I will definitely design this a little different on my water heat transfer and I may even throw another loop of drain tile in there to see if I can't ramp up that heat but it's not like I need more than 80 degrees we could blow 140 degrees in here but do we really need that getting all this situated has been pretty fun it's been a little bit of work but it's been quite fun and it's very interesting to see the results and kind of sit back and wait and just watch this experiment unfold.